Hey guys, it's Gus from Howard Unplug, and today we're going to be unboxing the Zowie ZA13C. Um, this is my second Zowie mouse. The first Zowie mouse I ever bought was the Zowie S2, and I decided to pick the Zowie, the Zowie ZA13C because it looked a lot like these mice over here. It kind of reminded me of this shape just by looking at it. Now, uh, I did compare the shape on the uh, um, on the, the, Z, the ZA13 with uh, these two mice and these two mice are pretty similar I put up the specs somewhere up here and you guys can see that the differences are uh, kind of similar I can't remember right now from, from the top of my head but I think I remember that the ZA then the uh, endgame gear was a little thinner and shorter than the ZA13 or something like that but one of them is bigger than the other and the, 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 the shapes are kind of similar and and I like the shape on these on these mouse, especially my the rocket mouse. Now I like the hump on the rocket because I'm able to claw it, and I like that hump on the back. I like how the that back hump touches the the bottom knuckles right here. Let me wrist comfortably, and it works for my claw grip. Now the Endgame Gear one, I did start using it again recently, and it does feel good, but. When I did play it in game, I just didn't perform as well as it did as with the uh, Rocket Burst. Um, so I'm hoping that the shape is somewhere between these two uh, mice, and uh, hopefully it, uh, the shape actually fits my hand, my hand style, my hand grip. So let's go ahead and unbox it. Now Zowie mice are 70 bucks, which we usually think is pretty steep, but. If there's one thing I can't deny about Zowie is that the build quality is actually pretty damn great when it comes to these mice. Um, and one of the complaints we did have is that they didn't they didn't make their mice lighter or put a better cable. But these uh, C series version, um, they they're lighter than the original, um, than the than the older generation mice, and they have a better cable other than the uh, yeah you see just by uh, looking at it right here. You can see this is like a paracord style cable. I don't know the camera's gonna be able to pick that up, the webcam. But it's a paracord style cable. No longer do we have that disgusting freaking um, rubber cable. Um, and yeah, let me see. Now you do get extra pair of feet in here. And warranty and stuff, blah, blah. Now the bottom. Now let's take off the, uh, the plastic down here. Let me see. Okay, wow, holy, holy crap, okay, I did not expect that, holy crap, okay, so the hump on this thing, on the Zowie Z813, is much, much, much higher, um, and, well, it feels much higher, and it feels like right underneath my, uh, right underneath my fingers right here, I feel it a lot, holy crap, the hump here is really aggressive, really aggressive towards the top. And they rest right. You know how I said that? I like how this my two knuckles rest underneath the rocket. Rest right? Okay, well, I feel the hump. This, like, literally fits right underneath, like, super tall. And I like that. Ooh. Let me see. Now, the cable. The cable on this is. Holy crap, it's actually pretty damn good. It's. Wow. Actually, the rocket cable. I want to see it's a little bit more stiff. Yeah, it's more stiff than the Zowie one. Holy crap. Yeah, that's actually pretty damn good. You see build quality. No rattling. Scroll wheel. Uh, I don't like the scroll wheel. If I'm being honest, it's really uh, loud. Let me see. Clicks. Let me do the mouse one, mouse two. Side buttons. Okay, so very little. Okay, very a little bit of um, has has quite a bit of a post travel. I don't know if this picks that up. You see, that's the click right there, and then they a little bit post travel, a little bit of pre travel. And a lot of post travel. Well, more than I would like, if I'm being honest. Um, put a button, pretty firm. Side button, the back button, I 
feels a little mushy in the back when I'm being honest. Just very little. Very little pre-travel. Very little pre-travel. A little bit. It so, has quite a bit of post-travel. So it feels a little wobbly back here. But other than that, pretty damn great quality now. This feels pretty damn good in hand. <clears throat> Sorry. Now this feels pretty damn good in hand. Now let's see how it does in uh, doing a few Kovac scenarios. Let's see real quick. Jesus. All right, so this mouse compared to the Rocket, I feel like it feels more like the Rocket Burst than it does the XM1. Now, just because the XM1 does feel a lot in the lower profile, and it does, it actually does feel wider on the sides. So this this Saudi Z813 is actually pretty damn narrow now. I don't know if, uh, let me go ahead and actually change the camera. The Z813 feels a lot closer. It feels closer to the uh, Rocket. Now it doesn't feel a lot similar to it, but it, it feels closer to the uh, Z813 than the, uh, than the, than the uh, XM1. Now the XM1, it feels, it doesn't feel quite exactly the same because if it is a lot wider on the side, on the, on the sides, Nah, just by looking underneath. Now just by looking underneath here, you can see that the Z813 is it is is quite thinner. You, you can tell. And if and this feels wider. Now this feels a little bit like it, but it's you can you can kind of see that the rocket does look a little wider. And it doesn't it doesn't swoop in as much as the Z813. You see this is kind of like straight. Kind of blocky in the bottom, not curved in as much as the Z13. Oh, sorry. Okay, so so far, this mouse, I like it a lot, and this is close to end game that I think I'm gonna get. I actually like this mouse a lot now, and I do need to put more time before I actually confirm that, right? Although I don't know if this is gonna be end game, right? But holy crap, this shape surprised me, and. I can't wait to uh, see what I think after using it for a while. This is actually pretty good shape. So far, I'm liking the shape a lot, and it, it's looking pretty damn close to becoming my end game. But yeah. Okay, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, pretty good uh, mouse so far. Build quality is on par. Coding on the uh, yeah, coding fingerprint manner. I don't know if you guys can tell, but fingerprint manner. I don't like that. But other than that, it feels pretty good, and it's not that heavy actually. It's not that heavy. Um, I'll put the weight and dimension all this stuff here, but yeah, good mouse. Um, yeah, I'll, let's go ahead and take you for a spin on Apex for the next couple of weeks, and uh, we'll go ahead and bring a review later on down the line. But that's pretty much it, guys. This is Gus from Hardware Unplugged, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.